What's up, guys? CJ here for Kung Fu Night. We are here for more Sunny Season 16, Episode 6. Last time we had the Celebrity Booze episode with the main cast from Breaking Bad uh, cameoing in. Um, some epic speeches and um, eh, a pretty good episode for this season. Favorite so far... I like the inflation episode. Maybe that one's up there, or maybe the, it's between that episode three or episode five. Um, two and four were kind of like, eh, but I mean, we'll see, we got three more, only three more episodes of this uh, season left to watch. Um, there's gonna be a season 17, from what I've heard, or I dreamed it. Um, I swear within the last like couple of days I saw a, an advertisement for season 17 or at least like up and coming like for year 2024 or it could have been a dream leave your comments down below links in the description for patreon tiers I'm not gonna waste too much time I'm gonna get right into it the best part about Risky Rats, though, is that they make kids feel like they're the ones in charge. Totally! Like, that's where I became a man. I saw my first set of boobies at Risky's. <laughs> she was one of the uh, robots in the animatronic No Rules mm -hmm. Band. So if you got off the train to Kid City and you snuck backstage, you could see under her shirt just before she came out to perform. But, but this is a, a, it's a robot, robot, right? Do they still have that room where they paddle you if you ran a line? In our day, they called it the timeout room. And you would just go and sit there and fester in your candy fuel rage for about 20 minutes. <laughs> then you learn your lesson and they'd send you back out to unleash it on the kids. Play it again. Risky Rats Pizza and Amusement Center. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got. They really spruced this place up, huh? It looks yeah. good. That still sounds the same, though, right? Well, boy, that noise sure would send the parents running, wouldn't it? No. What you got there, Bozo? Just need you to sign these waivers. Eh, no waivers, though. I'm not really supposed to let you in unless you sign this. Uh, so that we could bum rush you, and there's nothing you can do about <laughs> it. But you know what? Listen, today, we're just going to have fun. We're not going to do any of that. We'll sign your goddamn waivers. But I want you to know that, for the record, we're doing this under protest. <laughs> That's not my name. Yeah. I just went, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a uh, bottom section, too, okay? All right, man. None of them are really okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks under duress, man. All right, well, we have a few hours before the show begins. I was thinking I would go redeem my old tickets and then maybe play some skee ball. Yeah, let's go. You want to what? Go sneak past? Oh, they're gonna go check out some animatronic titties. So. Hey, you want to do so they are animatronics. Yeah. So what? Did you have that when you were a kid? <laughs> yeah. Were you certain? And if you got them all, yeah. you get to meet Risky himself. And he'd do his whole routine for you. Where he would smack his kids in the head because they were pieces of shit. They had changed it a bit oh. by by the 80s. Oh. Yeah, I think they, it was a little bit more highbrow and like uh -huh. um, uh, topical, diverse ethnic stuff. Racist? Mm, no, no, not not racist. Things like um, you know, like making fun of people for not belonging. Here. Yeah, because of their race. How did we get here? I don't think that was it. I think it was it was like a, it's like a fish out of water kind oh, of oh. A, a, a satire. I don't know. I brought my tickets and I'd like to make a purchase. Where are your guns? Uh, excuse uh. me. I'm very specifically looking for Risky's rifle. It had a real heavy feel to it. It was very realistic. Had Nineties man. Bang. I don't think we have anything like that. We have an orange space laser. Have you ever seen anybody use a space laser in real life? How do I simulate? Real world violence with something like that. Forget it. Just get me one of those um, switch blades that are combs. I don't know what that is. Okay, how about oh. some of that? Um, can you get me some of that gum that I can put in my well, pretend like I got like a big old fat lip and spit all over the place? You know what I'm talking Dip? about? Dip. I don't think we have those. What? what about the candy cigarettes? Give me candy cigarettes. Those. Candy were cigarettes was a thing. Because... The first half of those things weren't real, but what the is, second halves this? were what real, is right? So you're telling me they shut down the, the, the ride to Kid City for a superstore? I mean, there's clearly no mouse hole. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't want to be that old guy who's, like, complaining about the way things used to be, but, you know, I uh, want to see boobs. I just do. You didn't get to see him, and it was a big part of the experience. I don't think this is the work of Risky. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Risky's walled off in there, and, and I think Risky would want us to take a risk right now. Okay. Well, they punch a hole, kick a hole through the thing. Alright, where's the big rat in the suit, though? 
also have no weight to them. Back in my day, you could crush a man's skull with one of these. <laughs> oh, hey, you're pretty good. Thanks. Dude, I got like 7,000. What? How do you have so many? I was really good back in the day. Better than you. We should pool our tickets, and that way we can get like the biggest prize they have. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to do that. Yeah, you can. This is America. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Do you know how much candy we can get with this many tickets? I'm not allowed to eat candy. I have to ask my parents. You don't have to ask your parents anything. You can eat as much candy as you want. You're at Risky Rats. That's the whole point. You can do whatever you want. Everything okay over here? Looks like someone might need to take a breather. I'm navigating something with the kid. Because you're a jerk. You're a jerk, and now we're in trouble, and now we have to go to the timeout room. Does the timeout room still exist? I'll tell you what, I don't care for elastic pieces of cheese with a joke on them. You just read the joke and toss it in the trash. They used to put them on the waitresses without them knowing it. Really? Yeah, that was the fun thing because then you could cop a feel and they couldn't say anything because if they did, they'd lose their jobs. Yeah. It's terrible. Whoa. No, it was the 50s. It was fine. Hey there, dingbat duck. Yes, we are. Uh, actually, it's dapper duck now. How'd you like the delectable duds? Oh, and where's your stutter? That was your, the funny yeah, thing yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, where's the... Oh, I don't stutter. I have a delightful diction. No, you don't. No, you do, you do, 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 stutter. And that's the only thing that's funny about you. We're backstage and, oh, shit. Okay, look, 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 look at this. Oh, man, this is, this is sad. You got Spaz the drummer, Chef Greaseball Linguini, oh. Dr. Slice, the funky Funko Sapien or whatever he was. Was he supposed to be black? Yeah, I yeah I, I think so. And you know what? Now that I think oh, of it, it's good that they're updating that. I mean, it was a white guy doing the voice. That oh, was okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a white yeah, guy doing yeah. a black voice no, and no, no, a purple costume. Was that, that the problem with it? No. Tell you what, some of this stuff brings back a lot of memories. Yep, yep. Oh, Sweet Justine, what have they done to you? Oh man! Bam! Woo! Hey! That is something else, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Are you telling me that there is a lifelike set. Of Can we not do this? <laughs> under there? Okay, so I will take uh, the yeah. shirt off. Let's, uh, let's pop and, it off. Uh, I... I'm sorry, is it wrong to do this? If I'm being honest, it feels wrong to me as well. <laughs> right, yeah, but why? Can robot. we not do this? <laughs> robot. Ageless. We could just be two mature men with an interest in robotics. This could be science. <laughs> <laughs> For the good of science. For scientific purposes, we can. Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Ah! That is. What? This is so disturbing. They, they took her All of this is just. <laughs> they mutilated this poor woman. That is disgusting. Goddamn libs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the religious conservatives. Flopping tit sauce feels like a, feels like a religious move. Yeah, doesn't that's it? Mm. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts, man. I'll tell you what, though. This is a sad day for women's rights. Oh my life. God! Tell us how Juice you feel box. right now. Yeah, I feel misunderstood, unheard. Thank you, Sam. How are you feeling? I feel stupid. You are shut stupid. It's because you're stupid. Now, shut Max. Up. You shut up, Max. He's getting sassy. I was not being sassy. You were being sassy. You okay? Hey guys, honestly, you were both being a little sassy. I feel stupid talking about my feelings. Like I don't want to be in the feeling center. That's not the point of risky rats. Hmm. We are on the same page there. I feel I just want to go out there and have fun. That's what I want to do, too. I just want to play and have fun. And See? Good, good. Hey, do we feel like we've earned that? Yes. Okay. Well, so do I. We've only been here for like five minutes. That's not a punishment. I, I don't feel punished. Where, where's the shame I'm supposed to be feeling? There's no shame in making a mistake, man. Yes, there is. There How you else go. would I know not to do it anymore? Hey, listen, man. I'm a licensed mm -hmm. psychotherapist. You're a talking dog. You sounds I'm like it, bro. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you are. Because you're a pussy. No, look, look man. That's, that's, Jesus that's not your Christ, fault. Man. It's not your fault. This dog, your parents, the whole... The whole culture is grooming you to be a pussy. You're definitely on camera. I don't know if you want to be alone with them. Whoa! <laughs> You know, I was flipping the idea. I was like, "Is that's not Uncle Jack in there, right?" I was like, "I don't think so." This is supposed to be some find, some find it game. What does a nosy pepper do? What? It gets jalapeno business. You got to do it with an accent. It gets jalapeno business. Oh, yeah, well that's funny. Yeah. Because that's black. That's black. not necessarily, but it is sassy. I gotta know who the victim is in order for me to laugh at them. I'll tell you what. In this scenario, it's whites. Because white people are the only people who don't have the accent to pull off the joke. But that's racist. That is racist, that's and I don't know. Very racist. It. Hey, let's see what this uh, live show is like. Creepy too. Like, who are all the weirdos with the kids? I 
think it's their parents. The parents should be in the bar. Charlie, there is no bar. Let's give it another shot. Right? The show's about to begin. That was always one of the best parts of this place anyway, right? It's the show. Yeah, Everybody clap your hands, because it's time to party. Come yeah. on. Party time, baby. It's party time. <laughs> what it is? Here it was. No, 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 no. Time for magic and fun. Rocking out at RobbyPizza.com. Did you just say RobbyPizza.com? Pizza. Did you they change the name? You we gotta do something about this. For the sake of the kids. My okay. what? So here's what we do. We recreate the old riskies. Guys, let's get risky. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! It's time for action, it's time for fun. You better move, get off your butt and run. Okay. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, we're all set here. <laughs> Guys, I gotta say, I think we've I think we've done something pretty magical here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. Fun. <laughs> what? Where's my, Where's my son? Hello? Fire! Well, that got out of hand. Yeah. Yeah, these kids, they just, they, they weren't prepared for that amount of fun. You know what it is, that's because they were sheltered too much. Yeah. Hey, should we get out of here? Yes. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's go, let's go, let's slip out. Alright. Risky Rats Pizza. Um, song was definitely catchy. Um, I don't know, I feel like Charlie Day wrote it. If you know who did, let me know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like what they're going for is just kind of how things change over generations and how things are today compared to... 90s, um, even back to how Frank described things were in the 50s. I do remember, like, the closest comparison I can make is like Chuck E. Cheese, right? Um, I know Chuck E. Cheese didn't have a bar or anything like that, but it's like, Chuck E. Cheese was the sh it was amazing growing up, right? And now I just drive by a Chuck E. Cheese, I just look at the design, I'm just kind of like, that shit just doesn't look right, right? Um, I did go to like a Chuck E. Cheese. I had to take like a little cousin to Chuck E. Cheese once and um, I was like in uh, high school or something, maybe college at that point. And then even going into it, you know, I was like, you know, what? let me let me grab a slice of pizza or something while I'm chilling here. Right. That shit was disgusting. <laughs> I was like, as a kid, it was the best thing. It was like the most well-crafted pizza on this earth but like i don't know 10 15 years later again as i've tried other things i just go back and it's just not the fucking same um i mean clearly the, the episode they're going for something completely different with kind of how i don't know discipline is done or at least at risky rats pizza there's a bar there's not a bar you know sp spanking seemed to seem to come up a little bit right from what i from what i can understand spanking was done at Risky Rats, like with the paddling and stuff, um, you know, compared to the feeling center, right? The freaking licensed therapist, right? Which I think is healthy and all that. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's pretty kind of cut and dry what they're going for. Episode, you know, I mean, it's all right for this season. <laughs> I can't compare this to the rest of the show because, I mean, uh, it's, it's definitely pretty clear where it stands. But, like, um, you know, it's enjoyable, right? I think it's just a fun episode. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Leave your <laughs> leave your thoughts down below. Links to Patreon. Links to Patreon tiers are in the description. Should be done with the series at that point. Curb Enthusiasm. Other things are available over on Patreon. I will catch you guys next time, all right? Peace.